Cannon somewhere yesterday, and she's been firing at will today as well. She had 11 points in her semifinals matchup. But you know what? The Dutch get things started. One to zero. Now it's Team Polska. They look for Jim Borska. Their ace. He's launching a two, but that's front rimming out. Zoe this time. She shares it with Van Kruisten. Van Kruisten turns off the glass. We've seen that before. 2-0 to -oh, Netherlands. Puter will reset, and Bazan will try to use her speed, but decides against the lay. She kicks it out. Jim Borska by herself. A foul's called. The shot's missed. So Jim Borska will step to the line. Actually, it's a foul on the floor. So Jimba will take it up top. Put there to Zolarska. That is good. So Poland ties the game. Von Kruisten. That was tapped out of bounds. So 3.7 seconds left. And Van Kruisten will take the check up top. They'll try to see if they can get a shot up against this stingy Polish defense. A screen by Zoe Van Kruisten. She will sideways launch that. That is almost in. Baz on this time. Oh, that's blocked, but a foul's called. So Alexandra Abzolarska, Zoe pushed her away with her off arm, blocked the shot with her left. So Larska will step up to the strike. She had three points in their semifinal win over China. And she already has three points here. Zoe to Van Kruisten, beautiful cut. Precision like a master surgeon. That's what the Dutch have been doing in the pick and roll. Bazan gets blocked by Zoe. That's a shot clock violation. Well, the song. Open for two. Lothar Sand will not get that one to go. The rebound will go to Puter. Now it's Bazan directing traffic. Jim Borska clears some space, but no make from Kruistum this time with the board. They go looking for Zoe. Their leading score, but she has to take on Puter. Slachter, fake, step and make. Up and over Bose. Now Puter who gets the rebound and gets it out. So four to three to Netherlands and Bazan she takes a spill. Julia Bazan trips on Puter's leg. And that Wilson will go out of bounds. So the Dutch hold a slim lead here. Van Kruisten. Patience in the pick and roll, a rescreen. They go for Zoe again. Zoe, hook shot, no good. So Larska this time challenges Zoe, but not a lot to be found then down there. Take a look at Zolarska. She gets her shot rejected. So the shot clock for the Poles at 1.2. And Jim Borska, she will look to take this shot. Sidestep, we've seen her do that before. This time it's no good, though. The rebound will come up with Zolarska. 
she's on the attack now gives it up to her buddy Zolarska but Lotte Salt has a hand in there Zoe from Kruistum now she's shooting it as well but back rims that so both teams are having a little bit of trouble finding the hoop at this time of the game Zolarska attacking Salt getting it down tying the game at four Now it's Zoe, scoop shot and in. Ziemborska goes at Zoe Slachter, and that proves to be a bucket, a disconnect with the Dutch. And that will get us to our first TV timeout. Unsure who that ball's going to. But it's been a good game so far. All right, both teams get ready to step back onto the court. The Dutch will take the possession with nine left on the shot clock. Van Kruistum, what can they come up with? Van Kruistum steps back, launches a two, and it will go down. The Dutch break the tie, seven to five. Bazan this time attacking Zoe off the glass. That's good. Oh, and another make. Van Kruistum taking over the game a little bit here, eight to six. Now it's Zolarska. Zolarska steps back, gets blocked by Zoe. Get your shot out of here. I don't want none of that. Zoe Slachter, shining bright in this tournament. Zolarska got just behind the line. But you know what? That shot is getting off this court. Anyway, Bazan. Zaputer, who stepped back onto the court. She finds Zamborska. Zamborska. Another off balance, too. That is down. Took two bounces to get in. Eight to eight. And fouls called underneath as they try to go down below into the basket once again. An offensive foul called on the Dutch. That's foul number four. We're not even halfway through. Zimborska by herself. She's been on another planet yesterday and today. Lotte Song on the wreck attack. No make. Poland up a little bit. The crowd's on its feet. Bazan this time trying to go at the, at the rack. She floats it in off the glass. Von Kruisen will line up another two. This one won't go. Zoe, though, gets it back to her. Salt down low. Puts it up and over. The lefty's no good. Zimborska comes away with it. Jim Borska looking at her matchup, stepping through, hooking it up, and again, she's been on another planet. Her new job should be astronaut. She's got five big ones in this one. Zoe. Steps back. Hand down, woman down. 11 to 10. Zimborska up off the glass, and she can't miss anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Everything she throws at the basket is going in. 12 to 10. Now it's Zoe on the attack. Putter is called for a foul. 
A foul on Poland as they try to push Zoe out of that screen. Take a look. Bazan tried to show the contact and it kind of pulled it down. Four to four and fouls from Kruistem. At the rim, no good. Rebound to Van Kruistem. There's a fight down there. Van Kruistem comes away with it, but she can't put the Wilson in the hands of anybody on the Dutch side. And that will get us to our second TV timeout. The score in this one, 12 to 10, Poland up a little bit. The Dutch will gain a little bit of wind in this one, because again, they've been playing with three. The history in this one has been for the Netherlands. As they put the poles away at the under 23 World Cup in the quarterfinals. And also at the Nations League final in pool play. But they only play with three ladies here. The Dutch will get possession though. Fresh shot clock and a fresh Zoe after that timeout. She levels her on the screen and that's called an offensive foul. Zolarska ran into a wall. Zoe steps into that screen and that, that's, well, that's a little bit illegal in, in 3 xg basketball. The referees will end that quickly. Zolarska. Zolarska. Bazan will corral the rebound. Now it's Bazan off the glass. 13 to 10. Zoe underneath. No good. Zimborska got her hands on that. Bazan kicks it out. Now Jimba. Jimba towards the basket. She's been good, but now she misses. Zolarska comes away with it. The shot clock's running out, though. So Poland. A bit of a wasted possession here. Lotte Song for the Dutch. Can they muster up their last bit of energy here? Lotte Song underneath, off the glass. That's good. Lefty puts it in. 13 to 11. The Netherlands are within one possession. Bazan. Jim Borska steps back off of one leg. The box out. Ends up in the hands of Bozena Puta, but she leaves it short. She thought she had that one, but it didn't go in. So Puta hasn't scored yet and didn't do it just then. Now it's from Kruistem, crossing up. But a travel's called. She faked and stepped one, too, one step too many. Take a look. Yeah, well, you know, that may have been two, maybe three steps too many. Anyway. Good play by the Poles. Zolarska open underneath, 14 to 11. The Dutch go back to Zoe, and she delivers again and again. 14 to 12. The Dutch have been on a string in this game. They haven't been out of it at all. Bazan, though, driving at Zoe, and she will take that like a Quidditch snitch. Grab onto it and throw it out of bounds. What y'all know? know about Harry Potter? A Quidditch snitch. Anyway. The crowd again cheering their ladies on. They're not playing with three. They're not playing with four. They're playing with five. Bazan. They go looking for Zolarska. She puts it up at the end of the shot clock, but that's no good. A foul called on the Dutch, though. I believe. 
And the Dutch will call a timeout. We are close to the two minute mark in that one. Who's going to bring home that gold medal? So both teams get ready to step back on the court for the last two minutes of this intense battle between these European countries here. Bazan looking for Jemba, but Jemba gets her cookies taken. And then the Dutch throw it out of bounds. Bazan again. They're looking to attack Zoe. Bazan using her speed. Gets by her this time. Poland up by three. The Dutch go to Van Kruisen. Zoe's down there with the mismatch. She spins off the glass and she wins. So again, the Dutch respond right away. Jim Borska will get the hook up and over Zoe. She's been making shots falling away for the entire day. Van Kruisen this time off the glass and the Dutch answer again. They are just not going away. The Poles, they keep trying to punch him, but the, the Dutch keep trying to dodge him. So now we got Puter trying one for herself, rolling off the rim, Zoe with the board. Lothasong behind the screen, launches at two. No good. And that one will roll out of bounds. We got a minute left in this one to determine who's coming home, uh, coming home with the gold and who's going to be left with the silver. Jim Borska. Put her a high post play. Now she's attacking Van Kruisen. Put her can't get anything in the basket in this game. We're under a minute. Zoe by herself delivers again. Seven points for Zoe Slachter. And an offensive foul called. That's number five on Poland. 40 seconds left. Salt gets the Zoe screen. Third screen in a row. Lotha Salt with the lefty leaner. 16 to 16. Game's tied. We're under 30 seconds. Bazan. Julia Bazan. They go find Jim Borska. She's delivered, but not this time. So now the Dutch have possession. It's from Kruistum on her way to the rack. She's attacking Bazan for the lay -in. We're under 10 seconds. Can the Poles answer? Bazan drives to the cup, lays it up and over, but Jim Borska's got her back, so we'll be going to overtime. Bonus basketball here in the finals. The Dutch mustered up all they could. Jim Borska. Take a look, Yulia Bazan over the rim. No box out on Jimborska. And she's delivered again. This time, we're going to bonus basketball again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've seen so many overtimes today that I don't even know what to say about that. It's been fun. We've gotten a lot of bonus basketball. I think we're going to hand out the medals at about midnight. We're taking our time with this one. We don't want to leave. The crowd's on their feet. And Poland will take the first possession of overtime here. They change the play. Jim Borska will take the check. They go to put that. I hope so. Larska fakes her out, but doesn't make the layup. Now the Dutch are in possession. Van Kruisten gets a screen and a roll on Zoe Slachter. The Dutch are up one. Now Jim Borska's got the ball again. They get a pick and roll. A sidestep two. Same spot as yesterday. Not the same results, though. 
Who's come away, is gonna come away with possession here. They're gonna go look at the replay. The three Dutch ladies are looking at game point if they get possession. Poland, they still need two buckets. Or one if they shoot from long range, you know. So the referees, they want to be sure they check out this one. Zoe Slachter, meanwhile, up to eight points. Just a ridiculous display. She's pushing and trying to get to the leading score spot, I believe. They're looking at the scores table. But she has been incredible. The referees now both take a look at this. The referees want to be absolutely sure this is a crucial call here. So they give the possession to the Dutch. They have game point, and they might have the biggest weapon in the game in Zoe Slachter. A play for them to try to get the gold medal. Van Kruisten, she gets a Zoe screen, and another one. Finds Zoe underneath, but there's a travel called on her as she picked up her feet trying to get the pass through. So possession back to Poland. The crowd is livid. They're looking for Zolarska. Zimborska steps back and she delivered this time. No, but. A foul's called, and that will be two free throws. Zoe Slachter hit Zimborska on the arm. And Zimba with a chance to put the game away from the stripe. She steps back, and she gets hit on that. Alexandra Zimborska, biggest free throws, but the first one's already a miss. So she can tie the game here at 18 and bring Poland game point. And that's also a miss. So the Dutch still looking at game point. Von Kruisten this time at the rack and the Dutch, they will get a foul. That's gonna be one free throw. Lotte Van Kruisten so far has been very cool from the free throw stripe. Hitting all the important ones today. But she has the gold medal in her hands on this one. And Lotte van Kruijsen will bring the Dutch the gold medal. 19 to 17, they've, they've been playing with three. How is this even possible? An incredible performance. Another gold for the Dutch women's program after the Europe Cup in Jerusalem. It's these three ladies bringing home the gold over host country Poland. How did they do this? They almost, they have, they're gonna have to go to sleep for a week after this. That's how tired they're gonna be. What an incredible performance. They stuck in the game and took punch after a punch after a punch from the Poles and end up up top here in overtime in a gold medal game for the ages. I, didn't, I don't think I sat down this game. Poland. A Cinderella story somehow, someway managed to